Oh. Is there enough to feed the kittens or what? <laughs> Is that you said? I said new day, new adventure. Oh, come yeah. on. How did what you say I... it before? <laughs> which bat? You might want to cut this tape. <laughs> well, Alright, so we we'll have a new a... day, new adventure. Which... How do you say that up we'll here? Get a, <laughs> we'll get a good intro yeah, why, when we pull into the... New day, new adventure. <laughs> It's a new day, it's a new adventure. The water is the current. They love current. They come in, they hit one of these wings, and they follow the wing in, trying to make it upstream. That turns into a little tiny cone. Then it opens up. When they get into the, what's called the cod end, they can't get out. They can never find it. Well, some of them can find that little hole. They're lucky ones. Oh, wow. Is there enough to feed the kittens or what? <laughs> so we're fishing for glass eels. Now, those ones there are starting to color up a little bit because that's what they do, but... Yeah, when you were saying, like, you know, you're weighing them by the, you know, up to the hundredth or thousands of an ounce, I'm like, man, that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty small measurement, but look at those things. What we're doing uh, this morning is we're checking glass eel traps. Now, the glass eels are these little tiny baby eels that uh, were born in the Sargasso Sea, which is, I don't know, thousands of miles from here, probably. And uh, they migrate upstream when they're really small, and they can catch them, okay? And these, uh, Billy, who's already taken off, uh, has a license to do this, and you're allowed so many pounds of these things every year. And they sell them live to, I think, China. China. And uh, in China, they raise them. I think they raise them uh, until they get adults and then they eat them. This is a pretty cool thing. And Billy's been doing this since the 60s, 1960s. <laughs> and uh, little tiny things. And the amazing thing is, well, let me show you the net first. <sighs> this is a typical setup for the net. Very big net. All the little fishies come up the river. They get in here when the tide's coming in. They, well, I guess outer end and they get in this net go down that little funnel and that's where the the eels and the little baby fish are going to be in there there's an excluder there that doesn't let the big fish in so hopefully it has some glass eels in it amazing thing is see the balls behind me these little things and you're not gonna believe how small they are actually climb up those rocks uh, go over the top and go inland and they'll go inland as far as they can go they might go a thousand miles they might only go 10 miles and live out their lives. And when they're adults, which I think they can live to be like 24 or something like it, in the 20s, they come back down the falls, back through here, and then out to sea. They swim to the Sargasso Sea, and then they have babies. Look at them. <laughs> um, and then the babies, over time, make their way into a freshwater river. So you set up the net because you oh, you can only keep the really small ones, right? Right. So we don't want any dirt, oh, bait okay. fish. And if anything that won't go through that little net, they throw back. Right. So you're just after these little tiny right. things. The, uh, if they don't go through the net, they're illegal. Okay. You know whose net this is? Doesn't matter. So the little ones are going to just drop into the bottom oh, and then they'll sure. put those back. And those are all eels too, but they're a little older. And the little ones will, uh, like I said, they're going to climb those falls and away they'll go. So it keeps all the dirt and stuff out yep. of there too and all the little fish and eels. Those are all eels. And when they're adults, so, you know, a couple feet long. I catch them all the time in the Potomac, the adult ones. And see them when I'm, you know, metal detecting and stuff. And uh, that's just amazing. Now, let's check this out. See, these, this one fell out of the net, but he'll actually just burrow down under the rock and wait for the tide to come back. So these rocks could have all kinds of little eels, little eels in them. See this couple there, little small ones. And they'll wait till the tide to come back. And they're gonna go for a climb up over those falls.
exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between.